want to update you with some new information that we just got five minutes ago about uh, Hurricane Joaquin here. Now 125 miles per hour, almost a Category 4 storm. And what's also new is the track. And it's been trending slightly to the east. That's what we want. The farther east it goes, the more out to sea it goes. Unfortunately, though, not far out enough east yet. Here's what it looks like Sunday, a Category 2, still offshore. Category 1 by Monday morning, and that could affect the Carolinas, Maryland, potentially, Virginia, uh, also portions of New Jersey as we get into Tuesday morning. And later in the day on Tuesday, that's what we're expecting, potentially, some impacts from the wind and the rain of what would then be tropical storm at Joaquin somewhere in New England. Now, if the trend continues of moving it to the east, then it could be that this storm is so far away that we don't get much in the way of effects from it. So that is certainly something you want to keep coming back to us as we get the newest information and the latest tracks. Temperatures now are in the mid-50s as far as our weather is concerned for today. It is cool. At least we've seen a little sunshine, but it's also breezy. Winds up to about 15 miles per hour, gusting almost to 30 in some places. You can see we've actually seen some holes in the clouds over the past few hours, but guess what? Some thicker clouds are filling into the south. I know you see some raindrops out there. Those are likely not going to make it here, but the clouds will thicken up a bit here as we go into the afternoon. So we'll call it partly sunny now to mostly cloudy the rest of the day. Still staying dry through the afternoon, although we are looking at a chance for a couple showers tonight. 55 now, high temperatures heading for the low 60s. We'll update you on the latest with Joaquin in terms of how it could affect our seven-day forecast coming up on 22 News at noon.